Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hello. good evening. How are you doing? Fine. Thank you. How about you? Awesome. Terrific. Thank you for asking. I was crossing my fingers because <laughs> recently I lost my internet connection because it has been raining here. <laughs> so, but fortunately we are here. How was your okay. day? So far, so good. Thank okay. you. Excellent. Yes. Nice. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. I see that some of you have been um, working on the platform, which is fine. That's excellent. I'm happy for that. Uh, so we will continue moving on with yesterday's topic. Uh, we're going to start. Um, yeah, it is time to start. So we're going to watch a video about the yes, no questions in the simple present. As I told you yesterday, this is going to be um, just like a quick review of the simple present because it's a topic that you have studied before. But if you think that is still difficult for you, uh, don't hesitate on telling me about it and we're going to prepare um, that as a review. If I need two classes to review topics with you, it's going to be fine. So don't worry if, if you think that is, is still difficult for you, just tell me, okay? If you think that I'm going too fast, tell me. Don't hesitate, don't be afraid. So we're going to start with the video about the yes, no questions in the simple present. Let's see, I'm going to share my screen with you. Oh, here we are. All right. Sound, good evening. Still loading. Okay, here we go. Sure. Okay, here we are. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and us? Do. Does. Did you know the changes that occur when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Thank you. 
All right, that's it. So um, as you see, we were reviewing the just now questions in simple present and also the object pronouns that I see that we still have kind of a doubts on how do we use the object pronouns? Let me share my screen again. Okay, we already watched the video and then we had the grammar focus. This is what you saw there. And it's basically what we have been studying. The only thing that I see that some of you were still having problems on using the object pronouns. Is that so difficult for you? Uh, you can tell me now so we can practice it and stop a little bit in this topic. No? I, do, I don't understand. You don't or you do? Uh, teacher, yo tengo una duda con respecto al object pronouns. Eh, yo estaba viendo unos videos en YouTube eh, y no sé, eh, me confundí un poco porque estaba viendo el object pronouns y también está otro que no me acuerdo cómo es que se llama, pero son casi similares, casi que lo único que cambia, cambia es para él, para use y para them, parece que es they en ese caso. Los possessive pronouns. Es, son possessive, ajá, son, eh, los possessive nos ayudan para, como su nombre lo dice, ¿verdad? Mostrar posesión cuando algo nos pertenece. Y los objects, estos sirven para, eh, um, como eh, a quién va dirigida la acción. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo quiero que usted me diga algo a mí, el objeto, el object pronoun es mí. Porque en mí va a caer la acción. La acción va a tener efecto en mí. La acción que usted haga, que es decir, yo le digo, tell me, dime a mí. Ahora, yo puedo dirigir esta acción a un grupo de personas también. Por ejemplo, usted me dice, my classmates are asking about you. Uh, me, póngale que yo no me conecté porque tuve problemas, porque se me fue el internet. Y usted me escribe y me dice, eh, mis compañeros me preguntan por usted. Entonces, yo le digo, dígales a ellos que estoy teniendo problemas con mi internet. Entonces, yo quiero que usted le diga a quiénes. Them, a ellos, a, a ellos. sus compañeros. Entonces yo les digo, tell them that I'm having issues with my inner connection. Entonces, ¿a quién va dirigida la acción? A ellos. Entonces para eso sirven los object pronouns. Es, es como, ¿quién recibe la acción? ¿A quién le cae? Uh -huh. Thank you. Y ahí va variando dependiendo de la persona, ¿verdad? Y a veces hacen como poner el pronombre personal y el object pronoun que le corresponde. Por ejemplo, aquí, si el, el, la persona soy yo, el object como object pronoun sería me. En you no cambia, ¿verdad? Solo es you es you. Igual solo la función gramatical sabemos que está cambiando, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, por ejemplo, si yo quiero, quiero que tú... Um, eh, quiero que tú vayas okay. a la tienda. I want you to go to the store. I want you to go to the store. Uh -huh. Quiero que usted sea quien va a hacer eso por, por mí, right? Si es él, he, el object pronoun es him, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, es, eh, eh, me dice mi jefe, mi jefe quiere este reporte para mañana. Y yo le puedo decir, dile que lo vas a hacer. Tell him, dile a él. All right? Tell him that you're going to do it. Tell him that it's going to be ready for tomorrow. El, el here, por, ex, eh, por ejemplo, eh, en la plataforma hay uno que dice, eh, pregúntale a ella. Por, es como que de unas películas o de canción, dice, a fulano no le gustan, pero no sé acerca de Sally. Pregúntale 
a ella. Entonces es, ask, es ask her. Ask her. Ella. Ask her. Pregúntale a ella. Ask her. El it es cuando nos referimos a objetos, a cosas, ¿verdad? El us okay. es, eh, si nos referimos a we, a nosotros, es us. Eh, para ellos es them. Yeah. No sé si le quedó un poquito más claro, Evelyn. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Excelente. Teacher, y, y nos puede dar un ejemplo con it. Cuando sobrecaigo sobre un animal o cosa. Ah, sí, por ejemplo, digamos que usted tiene un perrito y está rasgando, eh, está rasgando, rasgando porque no le abren la puerta y quiere ir, eh, quiere ir por un paseo, usted puede decir, why don't you take it, tomarlo a ello, tomarlo a, a la cosita, al perrito, al animal, take it for a walk, llévalo a un paseo, take it for a walk. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Another thing that you would like to add or another example that you would like for me to provide you? Algo más? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, y cuando sabemos es perrita o es perrito, podemos decir him, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es, es bien común. Yo creo que lo más común es que los, los les, les pongan el género, ¿verdad? Si es ella o él. <laughs> Casi uh -huh. no se refieren como cosa a los animales. Uh -huh. But sometimes That's happens. Good. Algunas veces sí. Yeah. Any Thank other you. question or doubt? <laughs> okay, so we can move on. So we have the simple present questions and the short answer. This is basically um, a review on just no questions and we are combining with object pronouns. Remember the structure for just no questions is first you write the auxiliary. If it is I, you, we, or they, we use do. After that, we place the subject, then the verb, then the complement and we can answer them. So you see here, um, it is, uh, do you like country music? Yes, I do, I love it. Okay. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like it very much. Does she play the piano? Yes, she does, she plays very well. Right? No, she doesn't. She doesn't play an instrument. Do they like Green Day? Yes, they do. They like them a lot. Or, no, they don't. They don't like them at all. If it is a WH, in this case, uh, it is a compound WH word. What kind of music do you like? Uh, it's kind of a different the structure, but it's not, not very, very different. We have studied this before, so if there are no questions, we can move to the next exercise. And this is very similar to the one that you have in the material. And I'm saying it's very similar. It's not the same because I want you to double practice. Quiero que practiquen doble. Entonces este es similar al que tienen en, en el material que descargaron de la plataforma. So, uh, in this completed conversation, vamos a ver qué es lo que falta ahí y la vamos a ir completando. Eh, pueden ir escribiendo solo la respuesta de los espacios en blanco para que no lo copien todo, porque sé que no, no todos logramos imprimirlo. Eh, let's start. Vamos a hacer el primero juntos. I like Kings of Lion a lot. Y aquí veo que continúa y me voy a leer un poquito más adelante y veo que es una pregunta y un signo de interrogación aquí. ¿Cómo completaríamos? Do you know, Do you know, know them? them? Do you know them? Ajá. No. Them. Ajá. Do you know them? Excellent. Do you know them? Very good. Do and them. Do you know them? 
I'll yeah. give you a couple of minutes for you to think, analyze, and yes. complete. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do. I do. And I love the sun. Let's download. I'm here again. <laughs> Thank you for trying. <laughs> yes. Es que esa cosa me sacó. 
Yeah, no. Hay algunos que están teniendo problemas, pero gracias por tratar siempre de conectarse, porque en algún yes. momento el internet mejora, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, let's see. Mm. Let's come right. here. Um, okay, we, we did the first one and we say I like Kings of Lion a lot. Do you like do you know them? Do you know them? Yes. yes, I do. I do. 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 And I love these songs. Let's download it. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's one song. All right. Number two. Do you like, do you like, do you like, do you like science fiction movies? Do. Uh -huh. do you like science fiction movies? Yes, I do. 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 Yes, I, do. I like it very much. I, I like, like them very much. I like them very much. It is in plural. Movies. Ajá, uh -huh. so como está en plural, vamos a decir them, ellas, them. las películas. Them. I like them very much. Uh, number three. Do Kevin and Emma. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. escuché no, do, do y escuché do das. En este no, caso do. será do porque se está refiriendo yeah. a Kevin y Emma, ah, they, they, Ajá, son ellos, they, okay. basically, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. usaríamos Do. da si fuera una tercera una. persona yeah. en singular, Ajá. él o ella, he or yeah. she, but in this case it's two, so it becomes to they, so, do, do Kevin and Emma Do like soap operas, Kevin, yes. Yes. Da. Kevin does. Kevin does, but Emma, Emma doesn't. 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 She hates it them. 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 She hates them. Uh -huh, because it's soap operas. It's plural. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Soap operas. Yes. Um, yeah. What kind of music? Das. 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 das Nico. Das Nico. 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 Classical music, she loves Yo-Yo Ma. It's a Chinese name. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. I like him. Him. Him a lot. Uh, him. Like him a lot. Like him a lot. Ajá, porque, espérame. Ajá, porque dice he's amazing. Sí. Entonces es un yeah. he. <laughs> es un him. He. Yes. Okay, Roberto, you raise your hand. You have a question? Yeah, I have a question, teacher. Uh, about the uh, number three. Is do or does? And number three is do, porque se refiere a Kevin y Emma. Son dos personas, entonces se convierte en ellos. Entonces usamos do. En plural. Ajá, porque será en plural, son dos personas. Si son o sea, para... Que ¿Sí? El ah, Roberto, perdón. Sí, teacher. Entonces, cuando se refiere a una tercera persona, es das. A la tercera persona singular. En singular. Sí, ajá. Usamos Pero ahí está puro. Usamos das cuando se refiera a él o a ella. Que, ah, okay. Ajá, porque a veces sí, eh, se tiende sí, a confundir y dicen, ah, solo cuando es singular, pero el yo es singular, pero es primera persona. I is first ah, okay. person. You también es singular, pero es segunda persona. 
La tercera uh -huh. es he o es she. Cuando hablamos en he o solo she, entonces sí es tercera persona singular y usamos das. Y das en sí estamos uh -huh. haciendo una negativa. Pero como en este caso son dos, ya no es singular, ya se convierte en ellos. Ya no es third person singular. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Any other question? No question. Okay, so no here we question. have the complete conversation with the answers in bold. So we're going to repeat. Let's do it. I like the kind the kings of lion a lot. Do you know them? I like, I like the king of lion a lot. Do you know them? Yes, I do, and I love this song. Let's download it. Yes, I do, and I love it. Do you like science fiction movies? Do you do like, like science fiction movies? movies? Yes, I do. I like them very much. Yes, yes I, I do. do. I, I like them very, very much. much. Do Kevin and Emma like soap operas? Do, do Kevin and Emma, Emma like soap like like operas? Opera? Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. She hates them. Kevin, Kevin does, does, but Emma doesn't. She hates them. What kind of music does Noriko like? What kind of music does Noriko like? Classical music. She loves Yo Yo Ma. Classical music. She loves Yo Yo Ma. Yeah, he's amazing. I like him a lot. Yeah, he's amazing. I like him a lot. Okay, so uh, we're going to practice this conversation. You have it. Yes. I have a question. Can what is the it? correct what is the correct pronunciation? Download or download. 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 Uh, download. Download. Okay. Download. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question before I move to the breakout rooms? Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, so I'm going to create the section so you can practice this conversation. Remember the topic and practice. So let's see, break up rooms. Okay, cool. There we go. Let's click join or unirse. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Who's going to start? Ah, oh, it's
Tiene la conversación. Sí, le acaban no. de mandar al, al WhatsApp. No tiene usted WhatsApp. Ok. Uh, if you don't have it, I can share my screen. Ya la tengo. Who is there? Who is Hola. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Aida, Liliana, are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay, you can start, Aida, you are A, and Liliana can be uh, the letter B. Okay. I like the kids of Lion a lot. Do you know them? Yes, I do. And I love this song. Let's don't like, don't love it. Do you like science fiction movies? Yes, I do. I like them very much. Do Kevin and Emma like soap operas? Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. She hates them. What kind of music does Nico like? Classical music. She loves Jojo Ma. Yeah, he's amazing. I like him a lot. Hi. Now you can change roles or practice with Tanya. How do you? Empieza un A, A, U, B, yo. Okay. I like you know Lion a lot. Do you know them? Yes, I do. And I love the song. Let's download it. Do you like science fiction movies? Yes, I do. I like them very much. Do Kevin and Emma like top operas? Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. She hates them. What kind of music does Nico like? Classical music. She loves Jojo Ma. Yeah, he's amazing. I like him a lot. We change roles. Ahora al revés. ¿Alguien quiere ser la Me. Okay. I like the king of Leon a lot. Do you know them? Yes, I do. I love this song. Let's download it. Do you like science fiction movies? Yes, I do. I like them very much. Do Kevin and Emma like soap opera? Kevin does. But Emma doesn't. She hates them. What kind of what kind of music does Noriko like? Classical music. He loves Jojo Man. Yeah, he's amazing. I like him a lot. Oh, ya se fue. <laughs> okay.
Well, I see that everybody is back again, but I see someone got connected and then disconnected. So um, we are going to check attendance. And after, after checking attendance, we're going to move on to the next practice, which is uh, pronunciation. It has to do with um, intonation. That is really, really important. But first, let me... Um, I see someone's hand raised. Sure, who is it? I see 28 now. 28. Who is it? No. Is Roberto Carlos, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Estoy yes, teacher. Una manita have, por ahí. <laughs> Dígame. Yes, I have two questions. Eh, quiero saber la pronunciación de ciencia. Como decía, ciencia ficción. Películas de ciencia ficción. Science. Y la otra. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, That science. is science. Science fiction. Science fiction. Uh -huh, science ah, okay. fiction. And the next science question? Fiction. Ah, la otra es de amazing. Así That, se pronuncia. Yes, you're pronouncing ah. it correctly. Amazing. Ah. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ok, ya, yeah, I think that Braulio era el que se estaba cayendo, conectando, <laughs> conectando, pero ya está por acá. So, thank you so much for letting us know. Just let me see if I got the correct list. I think I have it now. All right. Almost there, almost there. So, today is... What is almost there? Casi llegamos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's just, I think it's six classes from now missing, right? And we are done. Then we are done with this and we finished. Okay, so let's see Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Aida María. Present teacher, present teacher. Okay, Ana Griselda. Present teacher. Ana Yancy. Present teacher. Braulio Javier. Present. Candida Janet. Present. Claudia Patricia. Claudia Patricia. Oh, yeah. Claudia, Claudia is not here. I think no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably the weather is like to be sleeping. <laughs> Diego Arturo. <laughs> Present teacher. Edwin Haciel. Okay. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Eisel Adriana. Yo le dije a la Gaby, Gaby, tomemos el curso. Ismael Eliseo. Present teacher. Jerry Alejandro. Present teacher. Jorge Alberto. No, pero. José Manuel. Judith del Carmen. Present. Catherine Giselle. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present. Luisa María. Aquí vamos avanzando si quiere. Luisa María. Favor, el título ni nada, pero por lo menos va a estar ahí del otro lado, oyendo, viendo. Creo que Luisa María no está. Vamos a ver. Didn't get answered. ¿Qué? Sí, completo. Marjorie Vanessa. Present. Melida Rebeca. 
Present. Natalie Imperatriz. Present. Roberto Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Sandra Araceli. Sí. Present, teacher. Tania Michelle. I'm not here, teacher. Vladimir en Adalberto. Otro, en otra vez. ¿no? Present, teacher. Jacqueline Araceli. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now that we have finished checking attendance. Uh, so congratulations. I'm happy to see that 27 people. Todavía hay 27 y estamos a seis clases de terminar el módulo. Son un grupo de verdad excelente. Son excepcionales. <laughs> sí, eso es, es, bueno, tengo creo que dos años de estar trabajando así en línea y normalmente empiezan 30 y terminan solo ocho. <laughs> oh my God. Sí, así que de verdad los felicito. Eh, son, son un grupo excelente. Eh, Van bien, buena pronunciación. Just keep on practicing. Tienen que, que seguir practicando siempre lo más que puedan. Escuchen audios, traten de repetir. Eh, no sé si, si descargaron una aplicación que les dije un día. Y ahí pueden escuchar como narraciones. ¿Se puede mandar el nombre? No, 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 no teacher. Ahorita. Solo la canción nos envió. Ajá, um, la aplicación. No Ajá. La aplicación. De casualidad, de casualidad sería Duolingo. No. Porque Ahorita. si es Duolingo, yo ya la tengo. No, aquí está esta. Entonces ahí ustedes pueden este, escuchar. Sale el script. Casi siempre, bueno, tiene varias secciones. Tiene las secciones de noticias y son noticias de la actualidad. Right. Eh, son de la actualidad y entonces sale el, el script entonces usted puede ir escuchando y va leyendo que, que la pronunciación y todo luego hay ejercicios, le hacen preguntas usted las contesta, tiene una sección de vocabulario nuevo que se lo explica en inglés, es bien bonita uh -huh. okay. hay temas también yes. así como lecturas que no son noticias, but it's ok so anything that, that y así sienten que es muy difícil pues no le hagan caso, no la, no la instalen. <ríe> Pero sí, a, a mí me gustaba mucho. Había, me había, hay otra, se la voy a poner que está relacionada y esa le da un, un recordatorio diario. Eh, se llama esta con esos seis minutos diarios. Aquí está. Entonces le está dando como un aviso de que tiene que practicar sus seis minutitos diarios de inglés. Entonces ahí está saliéndole el mensajito hasta que ah, bueno, pues voy a escuchar lo que tiene. That's nice. Yeah. So that's the today's tip. So let us continue. We have the video about uh, pronunciation, it's basically intonation. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to Go deeper on that and practice it if we are able to. Let me share it down. Okay, let us listen. Uh, this is related to the intonation that we use in question. Remember that in English, intonation is a very, very important topic. So let's keep this in mind. Let's listen and then we're going to practice. I'm going to mute because I know that always background noise, siempre hay algunos ruidos que no controlamos hasta mi ventilador, así que también yo me muteo. <laughs> In this lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, 
So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. What did you understand about rising and falling intonation as, as you see the video? I'm going to... So now that you have listened and paid attention. Okay. What can you tell me about this part that we see here? Está preguntando acerca de una pregunta y una respuesta o... Ajá, ¿qué, ¿qué ven allá? Ven las dos tipos de preguntas. Ven, la primera es, ¿qué tipo de pregunta? La primera es, pregunta si me gusta la música pop. Ajá, ¿qué tipo de pregunta Las, es? Eh, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Ajá, es una yes, no ah, question. Yes. La primera yes. es una yes, no, yes question. no question. Y la segunda, ¿qué tipo de pregunta es? WH question. WH question. Si ven la diferencia en entonación, las yes no question tiende a subir la entonación acá. Entonces eh, suena like, do you like pop music? Como un poquito así tono arriba. Do you like pop music? Como que vamos para arriba en la entonación. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? Ajá. Y en la siguiente eh, va, uh, va decreciendo la entonación. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? La entonación cae. En las yes, no, es como que vamos ascendiendo. Y en las WH vamos como descendiendo. Entonces, el ejercicio que se les sugiere es de que graben so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice. So now that you have questions. Okay, lo que les sugiere es que graben su voz y haciendo estas preguntas. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Haciendo uso de la entonación, ¿verdad? Así como eh, se los explicaba ahí. Is there any question with this? Or you would like to listen again? Mm. No, that is enough. that's enough. Okay, perfect. So we're going to continue moving on with the next slide. Okay, that was pronunciation. This is the topic and I also sent over for a listening exercise, I send it to WhatsApp. So we're going to do this one is quite uh, similar to the one that you have in the material. Eh, con el del material que está en la plataforma no tengo el audio, pero como ya les he dicho, esto es súper importante ejercitar también esa, la habilidad de listening, ¿verdad? Por eso se los puse así, eh, si tienen impreso el material, pues bien, y si no, pues vamos a hacer el cartelito en el cuaderno, no hagan con regla y transportador y colocho, solo copiar, ¿verdad? Music, Movies, TV Program, Bill, John, Tony y Linda. To complete this listening, we're going to listen to four people on TV game show. Uh, three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kind of things do they like? And we're going to complete the chart as we listen. Okay, no, no worries. I'm going to change the. Eh, voy a cambiar la al material para que sí. ahí sí lo puedo ampliar más. Vamos a ver. Play the material. Oh, what is it? Ah, here it is. Can you see now? Program. 
Oh, yes. Well, yeah. It's better, much more better. Okay, so here we are. That's good. He isn't two or four on a table page. Three men want to invite them on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Only the yacht. Oh, the yacht. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to listen and then we're going to complete about these people, about their likes and these mm -hmm. categories, music, movies, and TV programs. I'm going to play the listening twice so you can complete it. Lo voy a poner dos veces el listening, así es que no vayan a estar afligidos que si no agarran a la primera, pues a la segunda. Remember keywords, it's not necessary to understand the whole thing, but some keywords. I'm going to play that. Page 25, exercise seven, listening. Who's my date? Part A, listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Complete the chart. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question. On music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical. Okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay. Now, let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. And how about you, John? Oh, I like musicals. And how about you, Tony? I love horror movies. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror movies, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well... I like to watch reality shows. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Page 25, Exercise 7, Listening. Who's my date? Part A. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Complete the chart. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill... John and Tony. So, let's start with the first question. On music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical. Okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay. Now, let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. And how about you, John? 
Oh, I like musicals. And how about you, Tony? I love horror movies. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror movies, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch reality shows. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, so now we're going to check your answers. What do you have for Bill? What kind of music does he like? Classical music. Classical music. music. What about movies? Classical, classical. Action. 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 Action movies. Action. Someone say classical, someone say action. We're going to check later. <laughs> TV programs? Actually, shows. reality shows. Reality, reality, reality shows. Show. Reality show. What about John? What kind of music does she like? Does he yes. like? Yes. Yes. He likes, yes. He likes the jazz. And about movies, what can I say? Music. Music. Uh, musical movies. Music TV programs. Talk shows. Talk shows. Talk shows. All right. What about Tony's music? Rock. 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 Movies? Horror movies. Horror movies. Horror movies. Horror. Horror movies. And TV programs? Horror movies. Mm -hmm. A lot. Uh, okay. What about Linda? What kind of music does she like? She likes the pop music. Okay, uh, movies? Horror, horror movies. Really? Mm -hmm. And horror TV programs? Movies. What do you have? Show, 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 show and Wings Show. King Show. Okay, here we can check Talk your answers. Show. Answers. Build music is classical, action movies, TV programs, reality shows. For John, we got jazz, musicals, and talk shows. <laughs> Tony, we got rock, horror movies, and game shows. What about Linda? We have pop, horror movies, talk shows, and game shows. Were your answers correct? Yes. Bad wife, bad wife, but don't understand me. <laughs> okay. Si so una, dos, y que confuso, and that's it. Don't worry. I think that listening is the, the, the most difficult ability to develop. And it's, yeah, we can make this second. No worries. Uh, is there any exercise that you're having trouble with in the platform? ¿Tienen algún ejercicio donde estén atascados ahorita en la plataforma? I'm finished. Teacher. You finished mm, the platform? Not really. Ah, okay, very good. I see that many people finished today and yesterday. Just to um, remind you, el correo a donde van a mandar los documentos es uno solo. Si lo mandan a otro, no, no, no se lo van a tomar en cuenta. Mire qué bien. Ok, let me see. So I, I won't give you um, wrong information. Ok, uh, es el correo soporte arroba inglés corporativo punto net. A el correo ese es donde tienen que mandar la documentación. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. Si yo tengo una pregunta del examen, no me la puede contestar, ¿verdad? Hasta que todos terminen. Igual ya pasé, pero... Uh -huh, pero... ¿Cómo no? Claro que sí. <ríe> ah, bueno, pues mañana se la... <ríe> sí, no importa si es del examen, eh, eh, pueden preguntar. 
Eh, a veces son cosas que por los nervios, ya porque ya pasó mucho tiempo, porque ya nos frustramos, etcétera, eh, no logramos, ¿verdad? Eh, completar, pero anyway, so, tenemos que, que, a veces son cosas que no, no vemos y otros nos dicen, ah, pero es que ayer un punto, o mm, ahí está el porqué, ¿verdad? Y ya damos una pequeña explicación, pero para eso estamos, para ayudarnos. Uh -huh. Okay. Igual, ya, ya les he dicho antes, ¿verdad? Sí, en el momento a veces damos la respuesta para salir del problema. Pero si usted dijo, ¿y por qué no entendí esa parte? Lo podemos ver en clase para volverles a explicar el tema, ¿verdad? Y que ya les quede claro, no solo resolver por pasar, ¿verdad? Sino que de pronto solo damos las respuestas porque necesitamos salir del apuro, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no se queden con la duda de repente, ¿y por qué tenía que contestar así? Entonces, pues, hay que explicarlo en clases y a ustedes lo dicen, mire, pero a mí me quedó la duda, ¿por qué era esa la respuesta, verdad? O ¿de dónde salió esa respuesta? Y ahí lo discutimos. Pero Gracias. si incluso si es el examen, pregunten. Gracias. I have a question, I have a question, teacher. Yes. En plataforma, en la página 35, donde dice, which children are benefit from Judy working? Mm -hmm. ¿Quiénes tienen el beneficio del trabajo de Judy? Ah, Oops. yo ya lo hice. Uf, no me dejo pasar. Yo le puse Emily en Josh, que son los niños los que benefician, y le puse todo y, y no me dejo pasar. La es one. Cierto. Yo también me pregunté eso, que por qué solo hay dos. Ah, pero que ahí hay un error en la plataforma. Por eso ¿Verdad? Que... Ajá, es sí. cierto. Pero a mí no me lo hace. Eso, no, no lo vimos. Yo, yo sí. lo estoy haciendo, pero ahí me quedé anoche, pero no me afecta. En, ya lo es... voy a mandar en el WhatsApp, este, está la imagen. Ah, ok. Vaya. En el WhatsApp está, porque ajá. Ajá. Gracias. Ok, gracias. thanks. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay. Sí, Teacher, tengo, tengo una, otra, una última pregunta. Sí, porque hoy, un, 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 hoy un cliente me hizo un, un, me dijo una palabra y no sé qué significa. Le quería preguntar a usted, tal vez usted me podía decir. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le preguntó? La palabra behold, ¿qué quiere decir? Behind. No, no behold. behold. Eh, aquí. Eh, 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 él ocupó Pero, esa palabra. ¿De qué estaban ajá, hablando? Behold. Ver, pues. Ajá, estábamos, hablando, estábamos hablando de un jardín y él me dijo, behold my garden. Ah, behold. es behold, es como observa, garden. como decir observa, mira, behold. Uh -huh. Ah, el, ok, eso es lo que tenía duda. Ok. Ok, gracias. Ok, see you tomorrow then. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.